Okay, so what a rush. As usual, Ash Photography is always a rush. It's currently New Year's Day and the Aurora is absolutely kicked off and I've just arrived at location and whoa, look, it's literally just gone twilight and you can see the band of Aurora. So it's really, really strong. But wow, so it's about half five and yeah, you can just see the road has kicked off. New Year's Day, January 1st, 2025. What a rush to get out. I was at a family party just a few miles down the road at Aberfeldy. Saw the Northern Lights were absolutely kicking off stats wise. Quickly went up the hill to this lovely little loch. And whoa, look at that. You can see it. So I'm gonna get my good camera out now and uh, start capturing this amazing show that it looks like it's kicking off to be. Oh my god, hopefully I've got the right settings because I'm just rushing about just now. But look at all that along the sky. Whoa, it's kind of like colours overhead. So it's just, yeah, it's not even fully dark yet as you can see. And the whole northern sky is absolutely filled. It's very windy up here, north winds. But geez, oh, look at all the reds over there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I'm currently on like heather moorland so it's really not the best for photography as the tripod legs are just not holding on. Um, running about like a headless chicken. But whoa look at that over there. Woohoo! Right I'm going to try and focus on a wee bit of photography and then I'll get back to the vlog very soon. But this is just whoa. Woo. Okay so that was a bit mental. Literally just as it got dark it absolutely exploded. The stats do say uh, it's going to die away for a wee bit. So um, yeah, I'll probably still wait out and just see what happens. There was even Northern Lights last night, New Year's Eve, pretty much bang on the bells. Uh, I'll pop a, pop a picture up of what I captured last night, but it was just on the iPhone because I was at a New Year's party. Um, but yeah, you can still see it, nice red. But yeah, it's really, really red just now. And it's almost away over in the east now. So it's near Pleiades, it's a wee bit southeast. So we'll see what happens and hopefully it comes back because that was awesome and hopefully I've got some, a nice pano of this loch with all the northern lights in the sky. It was a very faint show, it's like a lot of red and diffuse aurora but you could see it obviously clear with the naked eye and hopefully it turns out well and I'll pop it up now. So this is the view north, it's kind of gone a wee bit diffused and gone away, but looking over to the east, whoo, look at that, that's mental, that's really red. So let's see if, how long this keeps up for. So that's the show kind of over now, it's clouded over a wee bit and the stats have gone, I've flipped north, so I think the aurora has died down for now. There's still quite a lot of pressure in the atmosphere, so it could kick off later on in the night, but for now, I'll leave it at that. And if it does kick off, then you'll see me again. If it doesn't, then that was it for the night. But that was an awesome start to 2025. Let's hope for way more of these. And yeah, 2025, as if you've been following my videos and stuff, is very big for Scones Night Sky, doing workshop tours and all things like that. So, you know, people will be coming out with me under the dark sky, seeing these sort of things in these locations. So yeah, follow all my socials and stay up, sign up to my mailing list if you want to come on adventures like this and you know, see how I predict all this sort of stuff. And yeah, pretty much just travel around Scotland doing this. Uh, it's the best thing in the world and I want to get more people doing this sort of stuff. So hopefully the pictures turned out really well from tonight and yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see where we end up next time.